uh, connected. Uh, Chief Whip? Chief Whip? Is there a Chief Whip there? Yeah, it's too cold in the first stage. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Chief Whip there? He's still looking for his blanket. Zama? He's, he's, busy on, he's, on, he's busy on another line. He's, he will join. He's, but he's part so of the if team. we have the quorum, yeah. uh, but he has I am I correct? Yes. To start. Okay. Uh, sorry, Chair. I don't see the, the deputy chairperson. Can I just check uh, just the deputy chairperson? Chair. Thank you very much. Chair. Yes, Nyambi. Honorable Nyambi, Chair of Chess. Yes, Honorable Landsman. Today you are early leadership. Thanks, leadership. All right, today you are on time. Your gadget is 100%. You are not like the programming who always have gadget problems. <laughs> Chairperson, sorry, just at a point of, I'm not, I'm not sure whether it's a point of debate, but not everyone in the free state is afraid of the cold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, just repeat that again. I uh, <laughs> Let's hear you again. No, I'm just saying not everyone in the free state is, is, is afraid of the cold. So I'm not sure where the, the, the chief whip is, but it's not that cold today. It's oh, cold. Okay. It's cold. It's cold today. <laughs> Which part of the free state are you in Bloemfontein? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Today we want to see the photo. Put your photo. Okay. Thank you, Manjari. Um, okay. Yes. Good morning, people. Yes. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. There's the deputy chair. Morning, mm. deputy chair. Yeah, well, I had to to borrow a Wi-Fi. Someone decided to take my phone during the night. Just the phone. Out of all the things that was next to me. Wow. I can give I you my chair if you don't mind. Okay. I guess you can, 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 can go ahead. Um, now the can be there. I need my son's Wi-Fi. It's right And here. the chief okay. is there. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. uh, Thank honorable you. members, the agenda is in front of all of us. Yeah. Uh, is there anyone who wants to make uh, an amendment uh, to the agenda. Mm. Anyone wants to change the agenda? Wants to add an item or remove an item? Chairperson, can I just make a point for my side, Jadu? Okay. On the, on the agenda, on apologies, I will immediately after I've presented, I will have to leave the meeting because I will have to rush to a finance committee. Yeah, okay. We also have trade committee meetings, but we will carry on here, Chief. Okay. Thanks, Dango. Uh, can we then have someone moving for, the, moving for the adoption of the agenda? I, I move chairperson. Uh, I can hear Nyambi's voice. Who's seconding? I second. I second. Chairperson. Oh, that, that two seconds. Yeah. Okay, the other support. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, the agenda is so adopted. Uh, uh, so I already welcomed everyone. Um, and wish you well under this difficult uh, uh, situation we find ourselves in. Um, and, and, and hopefully we'll all soldier on uh, until we finally emerge triumphant. Uh, because no matter how strong COVID-19 may be, uh, uh, but we will prove to be, to be stronger. Uh, uh, as we know, uh, mankind, humankind, has survived this similar situation uh, before. Whether it was bubonic plague or the so-called Spanish flu uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, 
uh, we have survived. Uh, so remain strong and remain focused. Uh, we will uh, finally emerge triumphant. Uh, any apologies? Honorable members, let's start with the, the Secretary of the NSOP uh, or the Chief Whip. Any apologies? Chair, I have uh, not. The Secretary here, Chairperson? Yeah, yeah. I have not received any apologies. I'm not sure if the Chief Whip has received any apologies, Chair. Yeah, thank you very much. Chief Whip. Yeah, Chair, uh, I've, I've just seen a number of provincial whips that have got uh, joint meetings at Lash. But I think we, with others who have said that they will start with this meeting and proceed up until a certain period, I think the meeting is possible to can start. Okay. Now, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll proceed to the next item, uh, which is item four, uh, consideration of the minutes uh, of the meeting of the 5th of May, 2020. Uh, can we... Look at the minutes quickly. Um, uh, let's look at page one. Are there any corrections on page one? Page one is Everybody's exactly name is kept up properly and correctly. Page one. No corrections, page two. Page two. Page three, corrections. On page three. <clears throat> corrections on page four. Corrections of on the last page, uh, page five. The meeting was at the end at 13.58. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, there being no corrections, uh, can we have someone moving for the adoption of the minutes as a true reflection of what transpired at the last meeting. I early move for the adoption as the minutes as a true reflection of what transpired. I move. Uh, last man moves. Any second? I, I second. I a second. Okay, there, there it is. Uh, this time. And down. Oh. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, so sorry. Uh, let, let's move on to uh, matters arising. As is the tradition, uh, matters arising are captured on a one page. Um, uh, there it is. It mentions the agenda item, uh, uh, then talks to action required. Uh, whatever relevant comments were made and the time frame. Uh, I'll ask Advocate Pindela, the Secretary of the NCOP, to take us through the uh, matters arising. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. These are matters which arose from uh, the previous meeting. The committees continue with their oversight over the implementation of uh, the COVID-19 uh, regulations. The committees also continue to have briefings uh, together with the portfolio committees on uh, strategic plans and uh, APPs of the departments. 
they also continue to process uh, legislation. And finally, Chair, so far as uh, virtual meetings are concerned, there was a discussion in the program committee about uh, uh, the virtual platforms, and certain questions were put. Uh, so it, it is sufficient for the current purposes, Chair, to indicate that uh, I am advised that the report shall be given today to the presiding officers. And once the presiding officers have taken a decision on the virtual platforms, uh, I'm sure a, an announcement shall be made accordingly. Uh, thank you very much. I will continue to brief members also uh, insofar as uh, the virtual platforms that uh, we, we will be using, insofar as uh, the sittings of uh, the 2nd and the 18th and 19th of uh, June are concerned. We intend to run a mock sitting with the members before the sitting of uh, the 2nd of, uh, of June. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, so in general time frames there, uh, the matters are all on, ongoing. Um, uh, is there any comment from any of the members? <clears throat> Good morning, Chair. This is Cathy Labuskakne. I want to make a comment, yes. Labuskakne, yes. We're now on, on matters arising, Labuskakne. That's right. Uh, in reference to the joint meetings, uh, it came to my attention, and because it was part of my committee, that we, for instance, had a joint meeting on the strategic plan and budget. At, uh, the portfolio committee has a meeting today to approve the report, but the, the select committee is not part of that. Uh, we, this is why is it working like that? Uh, <clears throat> I really, really think that we should sort ourselves out. Honorable Lovers, can, can, can I ask you again? Because we are not that audible. Speak closer to the mic and just to repeat what you've said, just said. <clears throat> I said. We, had joint, we have joint meetings, but not all the joint meetings when the report has been tabled to the committee for the budget and the strategic plan. Some of these meetings, the PCs are on their own, uh, and it doesn't work like that. It needs to be sorted out. Thank you. We can't have a, what I'm trying to say is we can't have a joint meeting with the both with the portfolio committee and the select committee, and then the report is only adapted by one of the committees. Uh, I'll, I'll ask the the the, the, the chief group or, or uh, Nyambi there uh, just to clarify one or two things so that uh, we we address the the concerns of uh, Honourable Labuskakne. Thanks, Chair. Greetings, colleagues. Uh, the point that is being made by Honorable Labuskakne, uh, she is uh, quite correct, but uh, you, you, you don't, uh, myself or yourself, Chair, or the Chief Whip, we can't impose. We can only advise to do what is right. So the explanation by Honor Labuskakne that once a report has been uh, tabled, is the responsibility of the leadership of the committee to make it a point that uh, they continue with the planning as agreed by the leadership of parliament. But uh, we look at that issue so that in future it's not happening because as per her explanation, she's quite correct. It can be that uh, you just been uh, you, you just decide to exclude yourself but if you are not, it's not part of your program it becomes impossible to attend but at the same time they can't not continue with their program if a, a, a membership of a leadership of a select committee haven't planned anything but we'll definitely look to that so that we avoid something that will make uh, uh, that uh, anomaly to happen again it will be attended to accordingly, Chair. Fortunately, we had a meeting yesterday with uh, Honorable Frolik where we discussed even some of the glitches that you can always pick from different committees because we are following them every day. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, yeah. 
Who is speaking? I just wanted to say, I, I want to check the secretary of uh, the NCOP. Um, or maybe I, I can't the, hear the, you. The you are not audible, honorable member. They must amuse me from their side. Uh, Advocate Pindela, can you please assist with that? Is, uh, Honorable Mukawisi, I think uh, her reception is not good. Okay. Let's try again, Mukawisi. Chairperson from Lansman, I just found that level. No, 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 no. Lansman, just wait a bit. Let's try and get them Mukawisi first to speak. Oh, no, I will wait. Okay. Yes, speak. Please speak. Please proceed. Trying to to uh, listen you. and to to get your your message, what you are articulating, uh, Mukawuse. Uh, but I, I missed quite a few points. Uh, may I ask you once again to please repeat, Mukawuse? Uh, we'll ask uh, Pindela there to also assist. Uh, I couldn't get what was being said. Uh, so I can't really, really, really assist. Uh, is there anyone who wants to speak whilst the, the Mukausa problem is being looked into? Okay, can I just ask, I don't know, maybe what advice from the chief for yourself. I just wanted to raise a a, a, a issue, maybe it's according to procedure or not, but maybe you can just give me a hearing, but you tell me if it's the right time or not. Myself, personally, I want yourselves to look into the issue of how do you do the programming? Because most of our meetings, it is clashing. Like okay. today, I was, I was supposed to be in another meeting, and it happens daily. And some of our meetings are three a day, and each meeting is plus minus three hours. So it's about nine hours. It's even more than the normal work a day. So those are the things we need to please look into because it's a real concern. We end up here nine o'clock, 10 o'clock some night. It's not an easy okay. thing. So please look into it. Like today, there was a third meeting. We had to, I canceled it. I think Comer Dango is that side. I'm this side. But the fact of the matter, we have three different meetings because we sit on cluster the portfolios. Now we have about eight to seven portfolios. And for us to attend these things, the meetings are all joint. And we, if we don't attend, they say, uh, you are not there while you are in another meeting. So please look at it, especially from your side. We cannot control the one on the side of NA. But let's try to manage the ones from our side so that we avoid just clashes of us having agenda approved items. And then the programming committee, rules committee, and joint programming, joint rules overtakes agenda items. Okay. Now, thank you very much, uh, Lanceman. Point is noted. We'll, we'll try to do our best. And uh, I'm sure Nyambi, Njadu, and the team, um, uh, of course, including the, 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 the chief, will, will look at the, the matters. Uh, Secretary of Parliament, I'm sure, is noting all the, all the issues. Labus Kakhne? Thank you, Chairperson. I'm just going to say thank you, uh, Honourable Lansman. 
that you are raising these problems because I raised it before we started with these meetings and you were the one person who said there will be no problems. But thank you. I, I'm glad that you are experiencing now and addressing it. <laughs> okay. Point, point noted. I'm sure we're not to discuss that forever. Uh, the point is noted. It should be looked into. There's only for anyone to react to it. The team will look at the issues. Any other comment? Don't claim easily victory. Yeah. Can we get uh, Mukausa to come in? Issue of the top. Uh, can you hear me, Chair? Yes, I can hear you now. Uh, Chairperson, um, I just wanted clarity on two issues. Yes. The sitting of the 2nd of June, can we get a confirmation as to all the members are going to attend or not? If not, how many members are going to be permitted on the system? Uh, the issue of um, time during joint committee meetings, has it been sorted out, Chief Whip? Because we're currently experiencing um, a lot of bullying by some executive members who comes and actually put their, their terms. Um, when are they going to present? When are they going to finish? So can, can we get clarity on that? If the issue of time is going to be increased or not, Chief Whip? Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Uh, I'll ask the, 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 the Chief Whip to respond. Um, and if there's any, any other person who can assist in this regard, uh, we'll ask them to do so. Chief Whip. Uh, person, I ideally I think what we the questions we should accept they've been raised under matters are rising, but these questions are discussed elaborately in the program. So if we allow, unless we are there now, if yes. we, okay, we are on the program. No, 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 we're coming there just now. Yeah, so if you allow Jandu to speak on the program, he will communicate decisions of the WIPs and chairpersons meeting okay. on what is the special arrangement that the city and who attends and also some of the issues that were addressed in our previous meeting. Okay, no, 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 no. Thank, you, thank, you, thank you very much. Uh, let, let's proceed then straight to the, the program. Um, and, and hopefully, if, if, if there's, there's any, any need for any issue to be followed up, we'll do so under the the, 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 the program. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Chair. Let's, hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Chair. Uh, good morning, yes. Chairperson. Yes. Yeah, Chairperson, uh, I think just for a background and a consultation, around the program uh, that I'm going to present is that the, the first to say that the second, the second term uh, program 2020 and also the focus areas of the program are three focus areas, which is the, the joint strategic briefings and which is also the joint COVID-19 oversight and also the and also legislation. Those are the focus areas on the 2020 second term program. Then chairperson, uh, in terms of consultation of the program, the 30th of April, 2020, there was a WIPRI engagement on the program. And on the 5th of May, 2020, it was the, our, our last program meeting. And then on the 14th of May, 2020, it was the chairs and the WIPRI uh, um, engagement around the program, and then uh, chairperson, uh, the the committees are scheduled from the 14th to the 11th of June, which uh, Honorable Nyambi will elaborate on the activities of the committees, and then chairperson, the 20th of May, uh, it's a multi-party <coughs> caucus women's committee. On the 26th of May, it's a brief. From the, from Honourable uh, Dr. Nkwasuma to the NCOP on COVID-19, and then on the 28th of May, it's a multi-party woman uh, full steering committee. On the 29th of May, 
it's a woman charter a review uh, 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 in the district of the Eastern Cape and uh, review uh, from the women's charter. Then chairperson on the 2nd of June will be a plenary, which will be the division of revenue bill. Then on the 4th of June will be the women's charter review in Pixi Kasimi. On the 9th of June will be the women's charter uh, in Amakwa, Northern Cape. And the 11th of June will be a multi-party women caucus. Um, and will also be on the 11th of June will also be the report of the uh, appropriations committee. On the, 20, the 12th of June will be a charter review in Mangawu. And then on the 18th of June, Jefferson, will be the debate on the appropriations bill. And then on the 19th of June, will be the consideration of the appropriations bill, the NCOP. So, Chairperson, uh, that is the program which uh, was consulted, as I have, I have, I have alluded, in terms of the, the whippery, the chairs and whippery. And uh, thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, thank you very much. There's the, the report, uh, honorable members, on the on the on, on the on the on the on the program. Um, uh, honorable Nyambi, do you want to make a comment? Nyambi, uh, chair. Yes. Let's say uh, I can get to my next item so that uh, we can discuss everything, so that I support honorable uh, Jandu and indicate that uh, indeed, uh, if you allow me, Chair, to indicate that uh, right from uh, the beginning after this decision was taken by your good self and uh, uh, the leadership of the institution that we are going to be having the virtual meetings, we have received uh, the number of applications assisting different committees as it has been explained by Honorable Njandu. And to date, we have had uh, more than 100 virtual meetings. But what is important, Chair, is to indicate that uh, uh, out of the questions that were raised, and uh, Honorable Chief Whipo High indicated that probably it can be clarified in the next item, is that uh, the meetings are not organized uh, by uh, a national assembly and then NCOP is joining. It's a joint meeting. What does it mean? It means the chairperson of the select committee and the chairperson of uh, the portfolio committee. Because the chairperson of the portfolio committee will not understand that NCOP is just that, except the theory that can be explained. They will sit down and look at dates and prepare accordingly and avoid anything that might compromise how uh, uh, our committee at last started, the clashing of meetings. And uh, we've done to deal with different chairperson to assist when there are some problems. In relation to the issue of uh, time, of course, initially there was a complaint about uh, the issue of two hours not being enough. And a decision was taken that let's add an hour and make it three hours. But that meeting is not a meeting of executive, that executive is running a meeting. It's a meeting of this, these committees of parliament. And you can't, uh, as uh, uh, chairs, because in advance they have to alert the department that when you come, whether it's a COVID-19 uh, oversight or it's an uh, APP or it's a strategic plan or they are dealing with legislation because that's the focus now as we're getting the second term. You agree about the time that we're going to allocate to you, executive, 20 minutes or 25 minutes or 30 minutes. I'm using that as an example for a presentation so that you don't surprise each other when is the time for a meeting to discuss the issue of time allocation. When you extend the invitation to the department, you explain the time that you're allocating to them so that even the presentation is prepared as such. But over and above the presentation, we expect members to be given in advance such that they are not waiting for the presentation. Already they do have questions 
out of a presentation that was given to them in advance. And as of last week, Chairperson, in supporting the, the report, uh, the, the program presented by our programming whip, Honorable Njandu and the Chief Whip, we met as the whips and the chairpersons of NCOP. The whole purpose was to make sure that we deal with these glitches that uh, might be experienced by different committees. And from time to time, if there are going to be some glitches, we are going to deal with the respective chairperson and not make a general understanding. And from the 14th till the 11th of June, the focus is COVID-19, is the APP, of course, the legislation, the issue of strategic plan. And uh, if there's going to be an exception over and above what is being presented, when we met with the whips and the chairs, we agreed that uh, it's going to be an exception, but we will always get in and assist where there are some problems. And uh, we are going to make it a point that when a committee is being a, a bulldozed by a portfolio committee in a way, so to put it, uh, that is not going to happen because the both chairs are planning for these meetings and that at all times must be avoided. But the issue that was raised by Honorable Lansman that uh, sometimes committees will go beyond uh, the normal eight hours. As far as we, we know, with us as the public representatives, we don't have that luxury of saying we're working eight hours. And that is why when we decided to extend the an hour out of the two hours, we knew that it means some meetings will go beyond the evening. It will be even till the evening because it's impossible if you look at how we're working as a BNCOP. But uh, the issue of uh, appropriation and uh, what they've done up to this far, I can safely report and confirm what is being presented that uh, they are in line with what is in the program. And uh, I want to indicate here that uh, out of these more than 100 virtual meetings as, as a parliament, except the incident of uh, a programming of National Assembly, out of the virtual meetings, even though there were some issues, but there's nothing fundamental that was a security threat, even though we are looking at it at very closely so that we tape and there are some problems. How can we get in to assist? But all these meetings were successful and uh, members are attending. Of course, there are those that are still uh, maybe struggling in terms of not uh, adhering to time and that might compromise uh, the clashing of meetings. And let me apologize up front, Chair, for what is happening now. Because we have adopted a program last time, the issue of now was because of the programming meeting was not going to be in the morning. So that is why now we have members that are indicating that they will be leaving early. It's because the plan was that the programming meeting was going to be very late uh, during the afternoon. And in the afternoon, we know that there is POs of uh, the institution. So to avoid the clashes, we decided to shift early. And by shifting in, we were mindful that it, it was going to be possible to start at nine and allow an hour and allow that time that they can attend. But up to this far, Chair, what is being presented and how we're working with whips and the chairs, it's a confirmation by what is being presented and being led by yourself and the Honorable Mohai. I support the program as is as presented by our programming whip. Thanks, Chairperson. Okay, now thank you very much, uh, 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 Honorable Nyambi. Uh, maybe just to re repeat and re-emphasize some of some of the points without, of course, uh, 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 boring you with uh, uh, unnecessary detail. The first point you made is, is that there's, there's, there's an apology. Uh, uh, that has been uh, put forward by Honorable Nyambi for any any inconvenience that has been caused in the course of, of doing our, our work. Um, then for noting that to date more than 100 virtual meetings have been held. Uh, thirdly, uh, 
uh, noting that uh, joint committee meetings continue. Original time allocated was two hours. This uh, 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 seemed to have been uh, increased by an hour. And, and, and specific times are alloc allocated for members of the executive to do their, their presentations. Uh, this has become like standard. Uh, 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 and and in, in cases where people are experiencing, experiencing problems, they are being encouraged, really, uh, through what Nyambi uh, was, was, was saying. Um, uh, they are being enc encouraged to uh, call out for, for, for help and, and assistance uh, will, be, will be given. Um, uh, the, oh, there's also been the mention of the evening, evening time slot being made available for some committee uh, uh, sittings, um, and the, and the end ended up by 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 saying that he supports the the program. Now, if I may just uh, uh, find out if there's any other person who wants to make uh, a comment, please note that the the, the, the point that's made about the need to support the program, uh, Tango. Yeah, Chairperson, just one example in trade. Uh, and the trade committee, uh, sometimes you have four, four entities reporting. What they've done there is, is allow those entities to report for the first hour. Uh, thereafter, have a discussion for the next hour, uh, asking questions. Thereafter, the entities or the ministry will respond. And thereafter, the last half an hour, 15 minutes, would be de devoted to the members to conclude on a way forward. Uh, I was just saying the by example, that's one. Chairperson, the okay. question I really wanted to ask was Africa Day. Have we got a program for Africa Day uh, that we, we've planned? Yeah, no, thank you very much, Dango. Uh, we, we, so we note your comments. It become part of the, the broader discussion. Um, but the question that you are asking there, What's going to happen on Africa Day? I'll ask Njadu and Onyambi to make a comment, or even the Chief Whip, if, if he's ready to, to so uh, indicate. Let's start with um, Njadu. Njadu, 25th of May, 2020, Africa Day. Uh, anything in the program? Uh. Chairperson, no, yes. not, not, not. Uh, the, I think the chief can respond on that, Chair. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Chair, there's, there's, there's not nothing as at the moment, but there has been a discussion with the chief whip in the National Assembly to look into the dates of national importance that cuts across our work in Parliament. And I think further after this meeting, that discussions will be uh, undertaken because that moves from Africa Day in terms of the month of June and other activities that will unfold in our days of historical uh, as, as historical significance in our calendar. We'll deal with it. Our highlight this week, uh, next week in the NCOP, is a meeting that will be addressed by the Minister of Cogta and the Minister of Health that will deal with a range of issues around COVID-19, both coordination and even in terms of substance, how we respond to those issues and, and the kind of work that we must do as public representatives. So the other one will come back to it, uh, uh, Chair. I'm, I'm covered by Honorable Nyambe. We also must agree that in between fortnightly, we do have our meetings. So we'll have a meeting on the 27 again, when we look and strengthen our activities. I know that it will be after Africa Day, but uh, if there's any other matter, uh, I believe it will also rise in the meeting of the POs in terms of the, but we are limited in how far we can go in, in, in celebrating some of the days, uh, as members can note. Uh, yeah, Chair, I think we'll come back on those matters. Uh, I don't want to repeat because we'll clarify even the issue of the budget process. There are certain matters that the NA have to deal with because in terms of the Money Bill Act, 
they are directed to adopt the BRR, the BRR reports, which in the NCOP is a different case. So some of the meetings, from the planning point of view, the both chairpersons of select and portfolio committee and their whipperies should, from the onset, decide what item the meeting will deal with that is joint and where it's not necessary, meetings will not deal with those. And we have said it earlier, where possible. If it is not possible, select committee may have its own meeting and proceed, proceed with the agenda given the, 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 the number of meetings on a day. Thanks, Chair. Thank you very much. Um, Chair, are there any other question. comments before we proceed? Chairperson, oh, just a question. Yes, Honorable uh, Clutter. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, we did discuss it in the, the, the uh, Chairperson and WIPS forum, uh, I think it was last week, uh, on the, on the uh, briefing by the Minister on the 26th. Um, and I, I'm not sure, uh, and I, uh, Honorable Kalabas, can you raise this? Uh, the, the question was raised, will we be able to engage with the minister? Now we hear it's both ministers, uh, according to the chief of minister Mkise as well. I just want to confirm, will we be able to, to engage with questions with these ministers on the 26th? This... Uh, okay. Um, may, may, but what, what we should do is 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 is, is uh, uh, go back to the the chief whip and Wanyambi um, uh, just to clarify the, the engagement with the ministers or reaffirm. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, uh, Chairperson. Uh, Honourable Tlute is right. Mayor uh, Labuskahen did raise the matter in our whips meeting and the chess meeting. And we can confirm that uh, the views that they are in the inquiry is that that meeting will, da will be run in the same way democratic principles will allow for executive to present, will allow for members of the National Council of Provinces to engage with our ministers uh, in the executive around range of issues that are covers COVID-19 and the work that is done. Thanks, Chair. Okay. Okay, but just another question then: Will the will the, uh, the the two the two ministers be on the both both on the same day? Because it doesn't reflect on the program at this stage. Is it? Are you saying you want want to find out find out if it's going to happen on the same day? Yes, because it doesn't reflect on the program now. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Chief Respect. Uh, in fact, uh, earlier, Chair, when we were planning this meeting, we, 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 we indicated it will be the Minister of Cogta, but we, we realized that uh, they are, the Minister of Cogta and the Minister of Health can both provide a, a briefing. So there will be two in a day. I think it will be Minister of Cogta and Minister of Health. And what we'll need to do, because it will, time will allow for the ministers to make a presentation and to allow for interaction on the issues that the ministers have, have raised. So the only thing I think after this meeting to respond to the issues that members are raising is to, bring, to, 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 to give a program for the day that will allay the fears that it will be a, a, a meeting that will be productive, that will allow for thorough discussions to take place by both ministers with the National Council of Provinces. Thanks. Thank you very much. Honorable Chair, thank you very much. I am deeply concerned at this moment. I am not only concerned, I'm upset. Because we are not following a democratic process. That briefing of the minister just appeared on the program in the WIPS meeting. If we didn't er interrogate that, we wouldn't have had questions on the minister. I can't find anywhere in the rules for a minister to do, come and do a presentation. Ministers do a, a ministerial uh, 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 statement normally. There's no something in the rules like a presentation from the minister. It's either a topic of debate and we debate it, or it's an oral question session. There's no rules session, there is no, not a presentation session. So I've raised it in the 
meeting, and I asked, and I said, this, these were my words, if the minister is going to come and do us a presentation, and I'm not allowed to, 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 to interact and to raise questions and get clarity on the presentation, she can send me the presentation, and I can read it, and I can write to her, and I can ask her written questions. There's no need. So this is still the point. Now today, in a programming meeting where we adopt these things, we hear that a next minister is also coming. I totally agree. We need to listen to these ministers. But actually, we should have had the actual oversight committees doing that. And they're doing it, but they're doing it jointly. And there's not enough time for that. Therefore, we have to do this now. Now, we've got three hours schedule with two ministers now. I want the following things to be sorted out in the WIPS group chairperson with before this thing is being adopted in the program. And this is, what is the time allocation for each minister? And how are we going to handle the questions? And in which way are we going to handle the questions? Are we going to put up our hands in the council and the chairperson decides whom he's going to listen to or not? Or are we going to submit, submit our questions before the time, which we actually can't, cannot because we don't know what the presentation is going to be. But we cannot go on like this. This is the first point. The second point is, I, I, out of all these discussions on appropriations and the pro forma and the format, I really want to put the way the NCOP is handling the appropriations bill on the agenda for the WIPS forum. Because... I thought about the processes and procedures of this bill in the fifth parliament, and then everybody told me I'm wrong. In the meantime, I studied the money bill, and I'm telling you the NCOP is doing the wrong thing. Because we are not even supposed to be part of these uh, BRR reports, but we are forced in joint meetings on BRR. But we can discuss that in a different forum. Thank you. Um, there, there, there we are, honorable members. Um, uh, uh, on, on the time time allocated to, to ministers, uh, the the question of the 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 the, uh, the statement versus a presentation, um, uh, and then appropriation bill wrong or right approach. Uh, can I have comments on that? Uh, Chairperson. You are right, we have to be ready. Yes, Chair. Uh, I want to start with the one of uh, the uh, Minister of Cocta. When we met as uh, chairs and whips, and uh, when it was presented as a proposal, because the the, the programming uh, is the structure that can agree or make some changes if there are some changes that are necessary. It, I want to indicate that it's not true that it was not going. It was just going to be a, a presentation and then that's it. The modalities of the details. The modalities. It's something that was going to come later, but it was to secure and agree as whips and chairs so that when we come to programming, we present the outcome of our joint meeting. And it's true, Honorable Labuskarn raised uh, what will be those modalities. And if I remember very well, uh, we never discussed the details because we knew that uh, it's not the responsibility of that structure to finalize that. As we're discussing it now and we're agreeing, Personally, I feel that if we add another minister, it's enriching uh, the session. Whether it's going to take a form of a, a debate or a, you call it a debate or presentation that they'll take the podium and present, and then you allocate time to parties. And the parties, as far as I know, subject to correction. In South Africa, when this issue of COVID-19 started, there was a consultation of all parties, and there was a general understanding. But of course, there are issues that are being raised now. 
and it can be correct to be opportunistic now whenever we've got issues and rubbish anything that will enrich us as members that represent this interest of these provinces. So my, my concrete proposal, Chair, is that let's agree that uh, the details, let them be presented to us. And I will submit that if we are going to allow both of them, of course, they will come back at a later stage because they will open the, what they are presenting. And after we have made our own points as different parties, as different members of NCOP, then they'll come and respond to whatever that we have raised. Then in that way, it can be that uh, an impression is created that, you know, they can just send an imp a, a presentation. That is not on and it will never be right. Then on the last issue of uh, the process of appropriation, I'm happy because uh, Honorable Labuskagna is saying, uh, is not raising it as an issue that we can consider now. It's a, it's an issue that can be discussed at a later stage. Probably we'll get to that later stage where we'll do justice to it because I can uh, hear from the tone that there is a view. But with the issue of the Minister of Health and Cogta, I support when we have two of them. And of course, we have to have ample time for us to be able and allocate time to different uh, speakers on that particular day so that as members of the NCOP, we are more empowered and we've got a better understanding. And if there are issues to be clarified, I think both of them are better capable of clarifying us. And I support what was resolved then and, uh, and agree that we can adopt it in the programming as something that can be taken on uh, at the end of the week. Thanks, Chair. Okay. Thank you, Chair President. If I may yes. also, as Deputy Chair. Yes, Deputy Chair. Chair President, we are extremely disadvantaged with uh, to, to to participate in this discussion because of the the fact that this it's just not audible enough to to follow uh, really meaningfully what is actually transpiring and it's 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 really it's it's unfortunate i don't think this this platform is serving us very 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 effectively and and it's it's really it's 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 actually making uh, making us a little bit agitated that's what i can uh, see from the from the fact that the honorable Labus Kachne is even saying that this was whatever she's raising now was discussed in another platform which which she was part of, which means now it's a repetition of possibly if there was a different view. But I don't think we need to discuss procedure or process particularly because we have agreed. We have agreed that we are because of the disaster. It is changing circumstances. And we need to adapt to the changing circumstances. So I want to agree with the Honorable Nyambi. Let us allow ourselves to be informed and empowered to understand better the whole issues around COVID-19. We know there is procedures and there are processes. Remember, Chairperson, we had a discussion even on the issue of the budget as to in the current circumstances, how are we going to deal with issues? Because definitely it is not business as usual. And I would really want to, 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 to request the indulgence of members and to issues that is actually assisting us to understand better what, how we must execute our oversight within the current circumstances. I think it is, it is part and parcel of what we want to achieve, to understand our oversight role and to hold the executive accountable. It is, and that is why it is important that particularly uh, uh, Minister Glamini Zuma, as mandated by the legislation or the laws of this country, that is leading disaster management in this, in this country. Let us allow for ourselves to be enriched and empowered with the information. And let us really not be rigid, but
particularly since it is changing circumstances. It's just not business as usual. I know I'm repeating myself, but I really want to, 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 to request members that us, let us accommodate one another in a way that will assist us to, in the current circumstances, perform better. That is the one issue that I want to raise. And the other issue is the issue of the quality of the platform that we are using in this current meeting, because really it is, it is, it is, it is a bit nerve wracking. And then the third one is just on the issue of Africa Day. As the deputy chairperson's office, we have we have the responsibility to make sure that we commemorate this as well as uh, as 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 uh, sectoral parliaments and, and, and other areas we, we, we actually work on it. So, Honorable Dango, because we've been busy with the preparations for Women's Charter Review, it is just one of the issues. It is on our list of, of, of areas that we need to cover, like Youth Day and all of that. It just a little bit sl slipped through the cracks. Can we then be allowed to come back? Because we've got some ideas, but we will just run it past the Chief Whip and the Chairperson and then we will come back and we will actually inform, if allowed, how we are going to deal with the issues around Africa Day. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, okay, now thank you very much. Um, Chair? Can, can, sorry, there no, no, Yeah, okay. Chief Whip. Yeah. Uh, thanks, uh, Chair. I will be uh, brief. I'm covered by the colleagues here the deputy chair and the house chair's uh, input. I just wanted to be on record chair to remind uh, this meeting, the programming committee meeting, that we have had previous sessions, not even under COVID-19. We had the deputy minister of COCTA presenting the state of local government in South Africa in the old assembly. We had Salga, we had every other stakeholders. We had the very good discussions. We had the Minister of Minerals and Resources presenting the strategy in terms of how South Africa will move out of the current situation into a desirable state in the future. In the old assembly, we had discussions. We had special delegates from all provinces. We had discussion in the house. Members must understand the architecture of the house that we are. We are not a mini national assembly. We are the National Council of Provinces. And if we attend as, understand the architecture of the house that we are, it is not always good when we are in programming to create an impression that we have not had a consultation and a discussion in our WIS forum meeting. And I think Honorable Nyambe covered that uh, much more properly because we had discussions, we had raised questions, and that's why I affirm Honorable Glute and I respect the fact that he raised this question so that it should be confirmed. But to say it is nothing outside the guidelines within which we operate, it is unfounded. Uh, those who are privileged, who can enjoy reading without having an interaction, well and good, they must do so. But we don't act on our own self here as members of parliament. There is a public that we represent. It is important when we interface with the executive that they too uh, take, uh, are taken on board through whatever broadcasting means that is available. So this platform is a useful platform and we should not undermine the work that we can and are capable of doing in the Council of Provinces. There is no confusion here. We agreed on the 26 as previous uh, speakers have, have, have raised on this matter. We should not confuse this with committee work. It runs outside the spheres committee work. It's much more broader issues that must capacitate all of us as members of parliament. So both ministers are capable to can do that work uh, with us. So we are not uh, conflating this with committee work, Chairperson. Thanks. No, no, thank you very much. Um, honorable members, uh, perhaps what we should do is at, at this point, what we should do at this point is to uh, uh, acknowledge and accept the fact that the presence of the two ministers will enrich, uh, will enrich the, the process. Uh, and that the question of the presentation 
end or making of statements are not mutually ex exclusive in this context. Uh, and lastly, that's the the comment on appropriation, appropriation, appropriations bill made by Honorable Labus Kakne uh, be noted. Are we agreed? So that we can move to the next item. Chairperson. Yes. yes. Sorry, was a, the, there's a point of order from Kath, uh, Honorable Labus Kakne. Yeah. Honorable Labus Kakne. Thank you, Chair. Chairperson, I listened very carefully to Honorable Nyambi and to the Deputy Chair. And I totally agree that this is different circumstances, as Deputy Chair explained. And that the Minister of uh, COCTA um, has a, is a very specific role, and the NCOP has a very sp specific role in oversight, specifically on the provinces. Therefore, my plea right from the beginning was not to have the joint committees, but to have the oversight from the platform of the NCOP. And actually, if we are really having to take up our roles and each and every one of us in parliament should contribute and do the oversight in this disaster, the Disaster Management Act does not exclude parliament. At the moment, we were excluded in the beginning because there was no oversight. We had to fight for it. So if the minister wants real oversight and if the chairperson and the secretary and the house chairperson and the deputy chair of the NCOP is taking up their role as the checks and balances of this country and not merely a blueprint of the NA, you would have said the minister should table the regulations, the ministers should table the regulations to the House of the NCOP before it's been published. Because with all due respect, in the name of oversight, nothing can be done to change those regulations after it's been published. So whatever Minister Lamini Zuma and Minister Zwellekisi are going to come and tell us, it's a false. Because we're going to it's sit there you. and no, ask questions and nothing is going to Right, for uh, Honourable uh, members, uh, if you can just be a bit uh, patient uh, and allow uh, Honourable Lobstock to conclude. No, Chair, he's wasting our time. Chairperson, if, if I may call order. Chairperson, if I may call order. I'm really sitting with all of us. Let's no, allow yes, the, I the only if you have concluded on this court, issue and the Honorable Lavis Kahni must also be given to the oh, what, Deputy Chair, you will not bully me in the form of as done before. I will you. put a stop to we this. I will put a stop to this. You are not, we are not this, bullying you, but the Chair is out When I raise anything in this forum, you will members order. I know this. I will not take this further. Thank you. We allow not to restart a contribution from the beginning, but to conclude. Honorable Labuskakde, please conclude. Please check the chair by Parisma at the time. Chairperson, if I may, are you allowing me? Yeah. No, I'm not allowing you, Honorable Member, because okay. uh, so things are getting out of hand. I'm going to get to Honorable Labuskakde to, to please conclude. Check the chat group chair. Oh, My head was out four I've times. Done. Thank you. Oh, yes, it's on Gana Manch. Are you are you are you done? Oh. Yes, chair, I'm done. Thank you. No, thank you very oh, much. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, members, we have already summarized. Um, uh, we note some of the issues that have been, been, been raised, but can I really urge members? Uh, everybody else, Chief Whip and so on, everybody else. Uh, let's, let's, let's try and find each other uh, and, and not uh, 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 create a situation where uh, we, we come to the programming committee and uh, we're going east and west and north and south and, and so on. Um, let's be try, try and minimize that. But it's very, very important that the program 
of the institution uh, is able to find the expression uh, as we move into into the future uh, in relation to ensure we agree, we implement, we move forward. Thank you very much. The next uh, uh, item on the, on the agenda is uh, uh, the report on select committee business and report on legislation before select committees. You want to guide us there, uh, uh, Advocate Kandela, on item seven. Chairperson, I think uh, it's uh, Honorable Nyambi. Nyambi. Honorable Chair. Yes. Honorable. Yes, proceed. Just give us more guidance. Yes. Thank you. Honorable Chair. Yes. With your permission, because already I have indicated uh, the report of uh, what is happening at the uh, uh, committee's side when I was uh, dealing with the presentation of uh, Honorable Njandu. With your permission, if we can get to the item of legislation, Chair. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, if, if members are happy for us to move on to item 8, that will work okay on my, on, my, on my side. So we note what you have already uh, said and indicated. Uh, let's go then to item eight. Thank you, Chairperson. This is Neil Bell from the Bill's office. Um, there's not a lot to report today. Um, uh, we are working on a couple of transport bills and we will bring them to introduction as soon as they are ready. At the moment, from the list of bills before portfolio committees of the other house, it's only the appropriation bill that I can see that will definitely come to NCOP before the end of June. Thank you very much. There's a report from uh, uh, a colleague, Bell. Uh, any comment? Are there any comments, members? Nyambi, no. Dango, no. Gwenya, no. Uh, Bebe, no. Tute, no comment. Uh, Deputy Chairperson, no, no comment. comment Mukause, no comment. No comment. Uh, it seems members are, are covered. Uh, uh, and that being the case, uh, let's thank uh, Ben for the very brief and concise uh, uh, comment, uh, and 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 move on then to item number nine, uh, which is closure. Uh, there being and there being of course no no further business, uh, we will we'll on that note close the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. Oh, Malika. I don't know Hey, I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel.